Welcome to Spain. This week we'll be taking you across the northern part of the country, from the mountains all the way to the coast, from tiny medieval villages to huge tourist field cities. During this time we experienced some incredible highs, but also some lows. Our time in Spain was definitely nothing like we expected, but maybe that's a good thing. Hello in Spanish. <laughs> hola. 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 Hola, hi everyone. Hola. We um, we made it to Spain. Yeah. We arrived yesterday, even though we didn't really realise we were here. We thought we were still in France, but we're, we're in Spain. So. There's like no border crossing. You just you just drive. There wasn't even a big sign. Yeah, Not that no. I noticed anyway. We were hoping for a big sign, but no. Yeah. So yeah, we've ended up in all oh, boys' kind of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've, uh, we've ended up in San Sebastian yeah. and it is beautiful, which will be, but we will be showing you around and the sights. And the view that we have got right now is like once in a lifetime view. Well, not once, but it is amazing, it's beautiful. Only one place like this, I guess, yeah. Have a look. Have a look. So, yeah. We're just going to enjoy Spain, enjoy the cheaper prices in France, and uh, we'll enjoy show. the sangria and tapas, yeah. and still stay in budget. Perfect. It's really good. Right. We love it. All right. We're going to show you around. Donostia San Sebastian. <laughs> we spent the morning exploring the attractions on top of Mount Igueldo, looking out over the city, drinking a glass or two of sangria, and riding possibly the world's most rickety roller coaster. But hey, at least the views were good. Julia is very tipsy off uh, the sangria red up here. It was strong sangria. And we're about to just go down on... The vernacular. Yes. <laughs> so, CC. No, I was about to say we read them. CC. CC. Yes. Um, yeah, we need to go and find some food so we're not that drunk. Yeah, food. Food. It's, it's lunchtime. We spent almost a whole three days in San Sebastian and even then we didn't quite want to leave. We loved the atmosphere there, the sandy beaches and felt spoilt by the affordable and delicious choices of food. Oh, we're in Spain, baby. Sangria, of course. Josh was very hungry. Or dare I say hangry. You should have seen him marching through the streets. I'm taking charges. Find a place to eat. <laughs> Which is good because he found us this place. Delicious. Are you okay, Josh? Is the uh, weight of winning? <laughs> Or the position I was playing cards in. <laughs> that all winning is just oh, it's, it's a tough life. Hola. Hola. We are knackered from yeah. exploring San Sebastian in the past couple of days. Yeah. And doing all the activities, yeah. Feels like it's been a proper workout. <laughs> it's been those, great though. Yeah. We've it's loved amazing. it here. Really loved it. Definitely will come back for a holiday one day. Yeah, absolutely. Probably when the surf's a bit better and the yeah. waves are good, yeah, definitely Do come some back for surfing. surfing. But so, yeah. Yeah, time to get some sleep and off to the Pyrenees yeah. tomorrow. I'm excited. <laughs> trying to film a video, but we're getting attacked by flies. We're currently in this beautiful park up by the lake. Crazy. One downside must be a million so flies trying like to. Just flat. <laughs> you probably can't see them. We probably look like crazy people. <laughs> but yeah, we um, left San Sebastian today. Yeah, this morning. On our way to the Spanish Pyrenees. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we did a food shop um, earlier, like a big one, our first really big one. Yeah. Um, to try and like stock up ready for the Pyrenees. <laughs> oh, it's There's so, so hot many. to film with flies. I'm scared to open my mouth. <laughs> Um, but yeah, <laughs> yeah we, went, we left San Sebastian, did a big food shop, uh, 
yeah. Um, Ready for then, the Spanish yeah. ponies, because uh, we're probably going to be off-roading, well, not campsites near any civilization for a good week possibly, or so, yeah. possibly. So yeah, we're just going to be parking up in places like this. Yeah. Going for morning swims. We've just been for a swim right now. If you can tell. <laughs> and it is amazing. To be honest, we didn't even think, we're not really, well we are in the Pyrenees, but we're not as deep into it as we expected. Like we're still very much towards the bottom, but the views on the drive, even amazing. so far, were incredible. I don't think either of us expected it. No. Um, we'll put some clips in. Yeah, we got some so, yeah. clips. Right, we're gonna leave you to it and we're gonna go back in the lake and then we'll be probably seeing you next when we're in the Pyrenees properly. Goodbye guys. Fresh from the trauma to do a video. That changed rapidly. A freak. Look at the back. It was freak storm. 31 degree weather, sunny. We was chilling by the lake and then in like, I kid you not, in like 10 seconds, it was full storm. It like, was hailing. Hailing. Um, and like this, did, did, so we didn't have time to get the awning. So the awning was just up in the air. We think that snapped. The awning snapped Sorry, in my mirror. Gosh, yeah. Look, wait. <laughs> you could just hear people screaming, couldn't you, yeah. outside? We were just inside sorting out the food. We were getting ready to cook. We were getting ready to cook. We had the door closed to all the flies. The next thing we know, you just hear people screaming. So we run out and the awning's up in the air. All fun and games and van life <laughs> and traveling, eh? I think the tears are coming on now. I've just been in a state of shock and now it's just... Oh, man. I never got how people film these raw moments, but... Yeah. Oh, if you don't laugh, you'll cry, eh? I mean, we're laughing out of the pure shock of it. We'll be in like 20 minutes, we'll just be sat there, like numb, like just looking around, like what the heck you did know. we just experience? We've had to La leave it out before the thunderstorm comes even more because we'll never make it out of this. Exactly. Swamp. You're just dripping. <laughs> oh, so wet. <laughs> yeah, we thought, oh God. I mean, <laughs> the, the sheer panic. You can just tell everything got thrown. All right. Let's just hope we can get out of here now. It's it's a tricky road. Let's hope it don't rain. I already had that thought, yeah, yeah. That would really yeah, not be good. The way the day has gone will not stop us from having a lovely dinner, although not a cooked one, <laughs> because it's still pouring with rain. Currently looking at parts to fix our awning. Not that we're gonna need it, like it's a big part, at least it didn't damage the van, but yeah. just wanna fix it. Hopefully small parts yeah. from what we can figure. But yeah. <laughs> we didn't think it was gonna be a small fix when we saw the awning flying off our <laughs> Spanish parent, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure we both thought that's it, the whole awning's gone. <laughs> oh, it's all fun and games, isn't it? Part of the story, part mm -hmm. of the uh, mm -hmm. journey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Josh is eating, and I've got to, I've got to show you quickly before he eats. All. <laughs> There's more as well. This doesn't look like a lot, but there is more. <laughs> okay, well we're gonna eat and chill. We might check in in a bit, but I don't think we'll be doing much. So yeah. Good night, guys. Good night. <laughs> The next day, in an effort to lift our moods, we decided to head for a hike to a nearby canyon. Despite deciding that morning that it was probably the best move to head on out of the Pyrenees, as non-stop thunderstorms were ahead, we still wanted to make the most out of what the lower Pyrenees had to offer, and the canyon of Lumbier definitely did not disappoint. I'm actually got walking boots and I'm being sensible. <laughs> <laughs> so proud. As we walked through the canyon, we spotted at least a dozen really large birds flying up above us, only to later learn that these were in fact vultures. And that's pretty cool. After leaving the canyon, we headed to find a park up for the night. 
Driving past more incredible mountain views made us feel pretty down to be leaving the Pyrenees. We um we bought this cheesecake three days ago and we we haven't been able to get into it this whole night. <laughs> We've been like meaning to eat it every night for dessert, but we've been too full, we've been tired. Too full. Just... So the, the night we're trying to eat it, we just can't get into it. And we we're, we're so tired from the hike, we can't we can't be bothered just... to go into the back to get a knife to cut it open. I so try and reach, but I don't think it's gonna. So so uh, yeah, wish us luck, guys. Ah. You... <laughs> Oh, Julia is the clumsiest person to live in a van with. Yeah, it's really quite... It's bad. Yeah. I don't know whose idea this was. <laughs> it's fun. It makes every day exciting. Uh, we're off to bed once we get into this cheesecake and devour it. <laughs> but after that, we're going to bed, hopefully. So, wish us luck. Good night, guys. I need to sleep. Yeah, yeah, Good, night. Good night. Yeah. <laughs> Me and Julia just having a little wear. Heated uh, debate about uh, laundry and washing up. So, <laughs> what are you doing? I, I personally said, because all our clothes were still stinking, and she's put the detergent, the liquid detergent, in the drawer. So Which I was there, like, you is a detergent drawer. Yes, but it's obviously she it's, it's only meant to put powder in the drawer, otherwise the liquid gets lost, and obviously it's gone on none of our clothes. That's the machine. So spot. we're still stinking a week later. <laughs> Grant, if you're watching this, just uh, please confirm that I am right. Can I just can I just <laughs> say this is the guy right who's barely ever done laundry in his life and when did do laundry put nothing else but softener directly on the clothes my clothes were soft for weeks weeks i tell <laughs> you softener goes weeks. in the drawer <laughs> <laughs> all right anyway we're headed off to somewhere today in spain <laughs> i keep forgetting all right i keep so, forgetting the um i'll we're going al al Alcazar. 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 That's where we're heading today. So yes. In Huesca. In Huesca. Yeah. Near Huesca. On city. our way to Barcelona. Yes. Ch big change of plan. Oh, I look weird. Like, mm. Is this? I look more close than the other one. Yeah, but it could just be perspective. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, we're off to Algarve. Al Al <laughs> <laughs> Alcazar. Alcazar. Goodbye, guys. Since our plans had changed so last minute, our next stop was a bit of a spontaneous one. <laughs> Shout out to my grand for supplying the driving snacks. Alright, we have... Uh, wait, 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 hold on. That's alright. <laughs> mm, and action. We are currently in Alcazar. Al I keep saying it wrong all day. Um, the village up in the mountains it is crazy, yeah. beautiful, but yeah. It's a medieval town. I don't know how far back it dates, I can't remember the date, but... Yeah. I've been um, obsessed with all the medieval doors. Yeah. I'll do a little Josh collage. Is, <laughs> she just so a cool, door man. series. Yeah, I'm trying a medieval cool. door series of Algarve. No, <laughs> Alcazar. <laughs> Algarve is a place though. It's in Portugal, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I just keep getting it wrong. All right. Adios. So, here's a little bit of history for you. Alcazar is a medieval hilltop village that dates all the way back to the 9th century, with a current population of less than 300 people. Its name is derived from the Arabic word for fort, or castle, which is pretty evident by its looks. Oh, but despite its remote location, it was the first place where we finally found our favourite lace flavour. Julia's uh, kindly taking the drive to Barcelona, so I am going to have a nap, so I'll see you guys in Barcelona. Bye. We're trying to recreate one of the only me veggie meals that Josh has ever liked. <laughs> 
That is really good. <laughs> My competitive mind has it that I can beat you. Okay. One, two, three, four. I declare from what thou begin. This is so hard trying to get through. <laughs> You're cheating. Because you're pulling back. Like, I could just get like that, yeah. <laughs> You've been done by extinctor. <laughs> we made it to Barcelona, man. We are Barcelona. <laughs> <laughs> and we are at La Sagrada de Familia. Of course. Gotta see the yeah. big sights. The accent there is amazing. <laughs> I think I said it right. I don't yeah. even know. Thank Hang you. <laughs> yeah. Pretty cool. We've just been reading about the history, so didn't realize it was being built from like the 1800s. So 18, I want to say 1882, something like that. I'll put it. I'll put it on the screen. Um, yeah, I was right. I, I oh. no clue. <laughs> um, no clue. <laughs> and it was interrupted many times, um, but the expected date now is 2026. So obviously, it's still being constructed to this day. It's pretty cool. I didn't realize that. So yeah. There's a history lesson for you all, but I'm tuned in. I try, I try. <laughs> I am today's tour guide. She is so happy, she's got a map now. No, it's, she can I be a proper be tour guide of, today. Well, I thought it'd be one of those touristy maps that's really easy, but it's... It's all in Spanish. Oh, go on, talk to this tour guide, go on. Um, I lost Josh in the Lego shop and this is where I found him. Meat. And meat. And meat. We didn't quite realise how big Barcelona was. So after walking around we've got to see it's called cool arm and Julie's just got taken out by the way so it's a great day. We finally got a ball. Yeah. I'll header it now, go on. <laughs> Someone got a bit too cocky with that ball. <laughs> I just can't believe how huge the city is. You can really tell from it. Is. We really underestimated. Under, <laughs> underestimated Barcelona. We thought we yeah we're young. We can walk it. We can walk every site. We have been dead on our feet today. It is horrible. Well. Yeah, it's horrible when you think you can walk it all. Yeah. If you're and when you're on a budget. Yeah, so we're hard. trying not to get public yeah. transport everywhere. To save some money, but yeah. Pro tip definitely get a pass. They do like two day passes and three day passes. I think it's like 16 euros for a two day pass. And you get bus, um, tram, metro, funicular. So well. isn't the tram and metro the same? Mm -hmm. Mad. There's metro a tram as well. Metro is underground, tram is overground. Like in Nottingham, you have the tram. He learns something <laughs> every day. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, in your defence, you've never got the tram, have you? So. Nope. No. That is mad for you. That is really crazy. crazy. It's a lovely view, but we've just realised like, we're all the way over there and we need to get back over there. I think we're better than we can see. Yeah. <laughs> And it's quite, it's quite a depressing thought, isn't it? That we've got to get all the way back there to get back to the van. In the seat. In the first video, we said we'd never do this, but we we, we keep doing this in the blistering heat of the day. We aren't we, we haven't learned our way yet. We will do one day. Right, say bye, Julia. Goodbye, Julia. The busyness of Barcelona really made us crave some peacefulness again. So we headed north along the coast in search of exactly that. But first, we made a quick stop off. We need the car from to come and use the toilets because we, we didn't really want fancy the portaloo. So for stopping by, we may as well use toilets. 
use the cuff on guys. <laughs> <laughs> One of the greatest days of the holiday so far. Sorry, say again. One of the greatest days of the holiday so far. Yeah. We may have uh we may have brought a paddle board. It's definitely gone over budget, but <laughs> I think we'll get a lot of fun out of this. It's going to be worth it. <laughs> the ocean, lakes, just so much. It's worth it. We'd probably spend just as much renting them with how much we want to use them as buying one. We got a great deal. Thanks to Cathlon. Not sponsored. The next day, we truly felt like little kids with their brand new toys, exploring the sea coves of Costa Brava on our very own paddle board. <laughs> We've just uh, swam out very far into the ocean to find this cave so Julia can you finally use a scuba diving gear. Snorkeling. 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 <laughs> yeah, I'm not that advanced. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, look at the, the water is amazing. Yeah. We're going to try and make paella tonight to be getting to the local culture. Wish us luck. I feel like all the Spanish people are watching me do the paella. Like to... Look, can you see them over there? Yeah. I reckon they've, got, they've just watched me get the food out and they've whacked the chairs out. Got an audience now. First ever paella. Like made, not eating. <laughs> Oh yeah, so we've had to experience a lovely paella like we're in a war zone because some little local kids have... Paella? I don't know how they... I think they buy them from the fund because where we... We seem to have stumbled upon um, Spanish on paella, which I don't actually know what people are <laughs> Julie is shitting herself. Exactly. It's really cool though. It is. So everyone's just like on the beach with uh, the cool boxes and the family just watching fireworks out at sea. It's amazing. Really a blessing to, to like, stumble upon. Yeah. We were standing in the van earlier thinking, what's going on? Like, why? Yeah. And now, now we know. Now we know. Spanish bonfire night. It's not actually bonfire night, it's just... Okay. We'll insert the crate. I will, yeah, I just can't remember the name. All right, we're going to watch some fireworks and Julia's going to shit us out the <laughs> These were the Fiesta de San Juan celebrations, a Spanish festival celebrated on beaches all over the country that seemed to signify the beginning of summer. And they uh, appreciate it. Not getting the background noise in, because we have no aircon in this van, so we put the windows up so you can hear better for the video. And I'm absolutely sweating <laughs> my tips off. But yeah, we've uh, Spain's gone rapid. Yeah, it's gone by so fast. We've left it now. Once again, we didn't realise when we got in there. We didn't realise when we left it. Yeah. Um, I've just checked, and yeah, we're way past the border. <laughs> we've had a bit France. longer. Back in France for a week. Yeah, south of France now. Yeah, and I guess. Way to Italy. And I did. Yeah, let's enjoy yeah. South France for what it is. Yeah. See what it's about. Yeah. Everyone that we've met along the way spoken to and they're like where are you off next like oh south friends they're all like amazing it was so good just kids <laughs> just kids so yeah we're excited but yeah spain was amazing very different than i think what we expected to have done there yeah um very like a lot of uh, highs very good days but then there's yeah, some crazy, crazy days, days. Yeah. some of our biggest tests yeah, yeah. definitely biggest tests <laughs> for in spain a new one and still isn't fixed, but hopefully it won't be in South France. Yeah, we'll get it sorted. But we got two paddle boards in Spain, so actually oh, Spain yeah. is a win. Spain is top of the list right now because of the paddle boards. 